everybody, welcome back to Argyle's Kitchen. I'm glad you guys have liked all the cooking tutorials so far. Once again, a lot of great comments coming through, a lot of great suggestions. And uh, today, going off some of those suggestions, I'm going to be cooking you my steak recipe today. It's a steak uh, and onions, peppers, garlic kind of thing. So let's go through what we got here today. We got uh, a steak, but before we go any further, this is a good steak and everything. But if we're going to cook my steak recipe, we don't even need to bother with this. So throw that right in the trash. We're going for a big boy. See, the steak recipe I use doesn't actually even use steak. It uses beef chuck, which is a uh, en masse form of beef. So what we're going to do before we get to any of the other ingredients, we're going to prepare our protein. We're just going to take this beef chuck, cut it up into some even slices. You know, try to make it look like steak as much as possible. Um, so that if somebody did see it, they'd say, oh, is this steak? And you'd say, okay. So now that we've got our chuck ready here, we're going to go through our ingredients. You know, we've got some uh, stuff to spice it up. A little cayenne, a little black pepper, a little salt. we got our vegetables, onion, uh, a pepper, um, a garlic, olive oil for the cooking. And, you know, we got to get a little sour cream in there to make it all nice and moist. So... Now that I've got this here, folks, and showed you how to cut that, I've already gone ahead and uh, pre-prepared the bucket of beef. So we've got our bucket of beef right here ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and set that down on the floor for now. We're going to go ahead and get our olive oil, pop the top, and we're going to start filling up our uh, pot here for the steak. So let's get that going. You basically want to get it out to a nice, nice pool, you know. But you gotta save some, so you can't use it all. I'm gonna pre-save some on this here, cause I'm gonna need that for later. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get this as much as I can. Gonna go ahead and set that aside. Uh, then you're gonna take your bucket, and you're gonna go, well, I'm jumping steps here, folks. I apologize. Um, I completely forgot about the vegetables. Let's just go ahead and, uh, get that out of there all right so we got to go cut up the vegetables we're gonna take our green pepper and just like this folks easy easy steps cut right through the pepper just slice her up doesn't matter how it gets cut just needs to get cut so let's go ahead and uh, get that there all chopped it up all right can't really get to that one off the board but that's all right so we're gonna go ahead get our peppers gonna get our onion here let's go ahead and just cut that man they're really really going on full speed outside today out there I just hear trucks people yelling I don't know why we're located on the busiest street known to man. All right. So now that all of our vegetables are on the board, we're gonna go ahead and throw these in the pot. It's just, uh, just gotta get them in there. All right. Shake it, sometimes you gotta shake it. All right, vegetables are in the pot successfully. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, spice our beef here. So let's go ahead and uh, get some cayenne going on there. Nice little mix. Let's go ahead and get some of this black pepper going on there. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, and then we are gonna go get some salt. All right, excellent, excellent. You know, you, you, you guys don't have to do this on the floor like me. I'm just, it's for convenience. You could do this anywhere you want, you know, kitchen, your bed, the couch pool whatever all right so now that we've got our bucket of beef we're gonna go ahead and get our oven going here and we're gonna go ahead and get our beef added in so just go for the beef all right there we go just try to get it all in there as much as you can you know if you can't get it in right away is this loud as fuck or is it me uh, just pick up all the beef you can Get it in there. 
Alright. Just kind of even it out here. As we're getting everything in. Alright. Get it all in there. If some of the parts are too hot to touch, you gotta move on. You can only do so much in this life. Alright, this is gonna be a full pot of beef. It's gonna. Typically, this recipe feeds 37, so if you wanna make it as a uh, meal at home, you're gonna have uh, food for a whole month. And isn't that great? You only have to cook once for the whole month, and uh, everything will work out. Alright. So now that we got all that going on there, folks, we're going to go ahead and add in a little more uh, butter just to get it uh, an even spread. It looks like I maybe overfilled the pot just a touch here. Just get the butter in there. Whole thing. Go for all of it. Set that aside. Let that just reduce down and cook. So while that's going on, folks, you got a little bit of time here to yourself. And, uh... Now that we have a minute to talk as the beef's on its way, you know, I'm, I've been thinking about this picture a lot. Can we get the picture up on the screen, Bella? Alright, there it is. I've been thinking about this picture a lot. What do you guys think this picture means? Should you leave a comment? It's that time of year again! Mega, Mega Toe-a-thon 2019. 2019! Your favorites are back to compete for the ultimate towing prize! It's a gauntlet of strength, cunning, and above all else, the ability to tow things! Will last year's champion, the Big Toe, be able to tow this tank? We have no f***ing clue! Buy your tickets online or at the box office today! So the next step in the beef process, once that's been cooking for a bit, is you just want to go ahead and get some rice vinegar and you're going to want to take your uh, baking tray and just go ahead and get a nice little coat on there and then you're going to want to take your beef off the pan off the fire and you want to go ahead and lay it onto this baking tray here just lay it in, lay it on thick all right even if some of the beef isn't fully cooked it's all right so you're going to want to take that got to open your oven get that going and you're going to take your tray and you're going to finish it off in the oven and just let that cook for as long as you need. In the meantime, we're going to start getting the plates ready. So this is the plate that it's all going to be on. Oh, did you guys see that shit? Dude, perfect. Alright, so once you get your plate, you're going to go ahead and set that down. We're uh, just letting these things uh, cook out down here. A little too hot to touch. You know, we got a couple extra. We might as well just get them in there. All right. How many times can they mow the lawn outside my window is the question I want to know. All right. Close that up, folks. Let that cook out. You can just... Uh, keep going the steaks almost done so because this is such a big dish it's gonna be a lot when it comes out of the oven right away so you're gonna want to get at least two plates um, so that all the steak can fit on it and none of the steak is gonna touch the floor you know if meat touches the floor it's pretty much you know it's a different it's kind of different you know sometimes you know it can be an adventure meat on the floor Alright, so that's going to continue on. We're going to get our garnish ready. I like to um, go ahead and garnish my steak always with a nice uh, egg. So, egg is a quite a universal product that can be used for a lot of different things. And it can be a good garnish if you let it. So go ahead, we're going to take the tray out. This is looking pretty good. I don't remember why I needed that pan, but... That's fine. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start plating here, folks. That's the opposite of what I meant. So we're gonna need um, a utensil to get these off the plate. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a couple of tongs here. All right, oh, I had a little bit of an aneurysm, but we're fine. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get these on the plate here. 
Perfect. All right, just, you know what? I think the bacon tray is just as good. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this, throw that right on top, and there you go. A steak plate feeds you for a month. It's uh, pretty good, you know. If the steak starts to get weird, and by weird I mean different, it just has begun a new stage of deliciousness. All right, everybody. As always, I'm Argyle. Uh, if you try one of these things at home, uh, you don't need adult supervision. Um, as far as I'm concerned, adult supervision is kind of like an urban myth. So let me know what you want me to cook next time. Uh, I'm here, and um, there has to be a way out of here. How? How is this not open? All right, everybody. That once again, that's me, Argyle. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this meal. If you cook it at home, uh, make sure you let me know. Send me a postcard of the picture. Um, you can leave it under the rug. Till next time, everybody.